And the question becomes, can Fox recover from parting ways now twice, not once, but twice with their big ticket anchors? I mean, they're, they're called anchors for a reason. And they may want to say show host, whatever, because they were opinionated. But there's a reason they are called anchors. And it's because it's like the anchor store, right? In a mall. It's the one show that everybody's tuning in to see. I want to point out that shares of Bud Light as we speak. I mean, this company just can't get a break. I feel like it hit actually maybe an all-time low today. $56.62 a share right now. Just unbelievable, especially when you consider how high it had been trading up near around above $65 a share. Really, I mean, this is, This is bad. $56.62 a share, down 50 cents right now on Anheuser-Busch. That would be the parent company of Bud Light, ticker symbol B-U-D. It's such a contrast from what you've seen, for example, at some of the other beer companies. TAP is trading lower today. We get a lot of the market lower today. They're trading down a touch, but still TAP has benefited from the demise of Bud because they, you see, are now owner of the number one beer in America. Looking at shares of Fox at this moment, shares of Fox, at least the B-class shares, that's what's publicly held, they're trading up about 1.3% or 41 cents a share. They've actually been able to sort of manage okay. I mean, they had been down around $28 a share. As I said, they've climbed up to about 31, but we'll see. We've got one more lawsuit, as I said, coming. And as I look at this company and I don't give, I'm not, I'm not giving, don't interpret this as advice on what to buy or not to buy, but I do see a lot of long-term challenges there. And I think it's a question of whether or not they can one, get back the ratings and to get back the ratings in a way that doesn't wind them back in a, in a whole bunch of lawsuits again, right? That's, that's the issue. 